Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Paul Lu, a beat maker DJ from Taiwan. First, I want to sorry about my English, and I hope you enjoy the video. Please subscribe and like. And today, I want to share three tips about how to make a simple beat on SP4 for Mark II, based on my experience. Let's get into it. So, the first thing about beat making is drum making. When it comes to making a hip hop beat, I think having a solid drum loop is very crucial. Of course, everyone has their own workflow, but for me, having a strong drum loop sets the foundation. And then you can layer any samples on top of it, and it will sound great. Like here's the drum loop that I already made. And I'm going to add other sounds on it. And let's see if I layer other sample on it. and it works. And the second tip is sample choosing. For me, I like to create a beat have multiple layers. Personally, my favorite sounds are raw samples like and the guitar samples. And the trumpet And I like to add delay on it. But eventually, that you will discover your preference over time. Now, the third tip is bass. When it comes to bass, uh, the bass is like a car carrying other sounds and it's super important to me. And I recommend that if you are beginner of the beat making, you can start with the sub bass sound. And if you are using the SP4 for Mark II, you, it's very simple that you can just load the sample into it and press shift and 4 it will go into the chromatic mode and you can even directly record the different pitch of the sounds this feature is incredibly practical for me and these are three tips that I want to share with you guys remember that these are just my opinion and experience everyone has their own unique style feel free to experiment and find out what works the best for you Happy bee making guys. I hope you enjoyed and learned something in the video. I'll see you in the next one. Please subscribe and like. Peace.